Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Gray Main Gaming. Of course, you know my name is Gray Main. Maybe you don't know, so my name is Gray Main. <laughs> Happy weekend. It is the first day of your weekend. My weekend is Saturday. Uh, I call it Star Wars Saturday here because we usually do some Star Wars on uh, the weekend. But we're just going to stick to Dreamlight Valley right now uh, with only a few days remaining in the event. Oh, it's so exciting to have this uh three days left so to have this change over it's kind of sad to see the halloween event go i still have uh some halloween uh, buckets lying around here somewhere uh maybe for a bit for like reminiscing because um uh, i hate to see holidays go so quickly you know i mean we're gonna be over uh in a few days we'll be over thanksgiving and that'll be uh, behind us, and it's always kind of sad. Let me feed this squirrel. It's always kind of sad when you have uh, great festivities and uh, and uh, they end so quickly because you're just anticipating them, aren't you? You're you know you're wanting them to come so badly because you see family, you see friends, and not everyone does, of course. And uh, I guess that's why we have uh, have places like Dreamlight valley to meet friends and chat with someone every morning i chat with you every morning i'm never lonely i get to come in here and read your comments and talk to you guys and hang out for a few minutes every morning and at least have one person to talk to uh during the day see all my candy buckets are still here i won't remove them because i just like them around so i know i'm a kind of nostalgic and sentimental kind of guy i suppose i just uh I hate to see things end. <laughs> I love them while they're here. It's great to be festive, and uh, I am really, uh, you know, into the holidays. I love this time of year. My favorite time of year, you know, the snow, uh, the holidays. It's just and everyone's usually uh, in a better mood. You know, have you ever heard um, anyone say, "I wish everyone acted." Uh, all year round the way they do at Christmas time because everyone's generally in a better mood in a happier mood in a more giving mood than they are say in the middle of June <laughs> so yeah that uh, I mean I wish that it was that way year round too I try to be uh, you know a decent giving person all year round uh, but we do what we can. Boy, there's a lot to harvest in here today. Try to keep the grounds nice and tidy. So did everyone or anyone get the question? Oh, is this... Uh, let's get rid of this. The question, the trivia question from yesterday was uh, Ariel from The Little Mermaid has six sisters. Name two of them. At least two of them. You could name all six if you wanted to. But at least name two. And so did anyone get it? We're going to read the comments here and see if anyone got it. I'm going to give you the answer before I do read the comments. And then we'll have today's trivia question for tomorrow. So that'll be interesting. Uh, I have a whole box of these uh, oh, the in the Disney nice trivia thing. collection. It's a really nice uh, game. I, got, I picked it up on Amazon. Uh, you know, for like, I just like the trivia questions and I never get to use them because I don't have anyone to play with usually. So I'll come in here in the morning and read them, um, and see, uh, if any of our, uh, you know, our Disney, uh, gurus will be able to answer even the hard, there's some pretty hard ones. So I don't think today's is as hard as yesterday's. Yesterday... If you don't remember uh, the Little Mermaid, it came out I think in 1989, and it had that song in it, uh, Tr uh, King Triton's Daughters or something, and it had that word that named them all, and then it had like Ariel at the end, and she wasn't there. I mean, they were uh, it had the uh, had the lobster that was conducting it, and then uh, uh, it had uh, King Triton kind of looking on and. It named them all. And then when it came to the last one, Ariel, she wasn't there. She was gone. So, 
That was what I remember from that. Even I don't know all of their names. I had to, uh, well, I have the card, so I don't have to, you know. So, let us read off the names, and then we'll see if anyone got the actual answer. So, who are Ariel's sisters? Well, they all begin with the letter A. Okay. So, we have Aquata. We have Andrina. We have Arista. Atina. Adela. And Alana. Those are the six sisters of Ariel. Ariel's number seven. All right. So, let's go to comments and see what anyone... If anyone got at least two of those. All right, so comments. And I'll read other comments right after that. I'll read them all at the same time. So our first comment on the question is, which was yesterday's video, the question is, uh, is from Andy, my friend Andy from Australia. And Andy says, I didn't know she had any, uh, had any brothers or sisters. Uh, no, she has no brothers, but she does have sisters. I obviously didn't pay attention to the Little Mermaid. Well, it was a long time ago, but uh, yeah, she has six sisters, and it has a a, a song uh, that names them all in that movie. I wonder if they'll put that song in the new one. I'm sure they will. They have a live action one that's coming up. That was, you know, had kind of this. Uh, I think it had one of the largest viewer ships of uh either of the year or of years uh of the trailer for the new little mermaid live action movie but i guess they're making everything in a live action now not sure if, if i'd like it you know which one i thought was really uh, done well and i know they've done the lion king and nothing will replace the lion king animated for me but the one I thought they did really well was Beauty and the Beast. I thought that was a great movie. Uh, it had great music in it, and I thought it was really well done. Um, but the other live actions, the, the Lion King, I don't know, it just looked kind of, it just looked kind of off, you know. The maybe it's the, the animals and stuff that just you know you don't expect to see, uh, you know, in the kind of roles that they were in, and it was all like CGI, so I just liked the live action Beauty and the Beast. There wasn't a lot of CGI to it, at least not for the actors, and I had the, I had of course the other, uh, uh, you know, the CGI, like the clock and, uh, you know, the teapot and all that stuff. a few so. more sleds around here. Uh, I'm sorry, we're all out of sleds right now, we don't have any snow, Kristoff. Uh, next comment is on, uh, let's see, the, the question is, and it's by, um, uh, I'm trying to see what that name is, is it MTV? Yeah, MTV, E-M-T-V. And MTV says, what does gray, or what does gray mane come from, if I may ask? Uh, are you talking about my name, or are you talking about where I live? <laughs> uh, I live in the Northeast, um, uh, and... If you're talking about my name, Greymane, uh, that's got two, two kind of uh, like reasons why I have that name, uh, like historical reasons. Um, number one, it's uh, it's my favorite character in World of Warcraft. His name is Gen Greymane, and he's the leader of uh, of the um, Gilneas, which is like a uh, a race of werewolves and stuff, and uh, what a nice day! So that's you know, and uh, when I was trying to name myself, uh, and this is actually the name of my character in, uh, in World of Warcraft, uh, mm. it's actually Gray Mane, oh, okay. as in the mane of your hair. So Gray Mane, because uh, I have these strands of gray that are on the sides of my like right above my ears in my hair so i said well you know i like gray mane i have this little you know these little bits of gray in my hair so i'm just gonna call myself gray mane or gray maned um and that's how that you know came about that name gray mane <laughs> so thanks for asking i've had it for a long time and uh so yeah, it's it's quite uh, appropriate, I would say, uh, and 
Um, that is how that came about. Thank you for asking, MTV. Nice to see a new uh, comment. Thank you. Uh, Pink Rose is commenting on uh, the question is, Good morning. I live in the Midwest, says Pink Rose. Who's talking here? Moana. Moana, are you the new uh, Donald? I see you every morning. I'm going to go over here so it's not so loud. Let me get rid of this. Uh, Pink Rose says, uh, good morning. I live in the Midwest. I can't remember their names. Okay. Uh, LOL. I love the Little Mermaid movie. Awesome. Are you, uh, are you going to see the live action or do you think, nah, it's not gonna, it's not going to compare to the cartoon, to the animated? Um, and what's so funny, uh, Ariel tells you their names if you ask certain questions. I'll hopefully get the next one. Okay. Well, we'll find out in a few minutes. I do have it. I have the card right here, ready to go. I actually went through a lot of them last night trying to pick a question that would somewhat easy. You know, there are some questions in there about like Hannah Montana, everything that's associated with Disney. And I'm sure that, I don't know, even I couldn't even get the uh, Hannah Montanas and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to try to stick to like the Disney type, you know, movies, cartoons, and not so much the Hannah Montanas. Uh, but somebody might get Hannah Montana. We don't know. Uh, thanks for that, Pink Rose, and uh, good luck with today. I already said the names of the uh, Little Mermaid, so. Uh, let's see, we got a, co a comment here from Kathy Kubicek, or Kubicek. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, Kathy. I'll just call you Kathy. <laughs> Commenting on the question is, and Kathy says, good morning. Thanks for the giggle. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I hope that, uh, that you laughed at my uh, pronunciation of your name, and hopefully one of them was right. I only know all of the sisters' names start with A, and that is very true. They all start with A. We have them all named now. Thank you for the comment, Kathy. Uh, Yvonne Bauman. Hello, Yvonne and our friend Louie. Uh, her, her dog, her, she just got. Uh, Yvonne says, uh, my guess without Googling is Pookie and I, uh, Ivana. Ha, ha, and she says, ha, Louie is a good cuddle puppy. He is being a good boy. Louie says hello. Well, hello, Louie. Good morning to you, too. Uh, Pookie and... Uh, is it Avana or Lavana? Whatever one it is, those are no. <laughs> they all start with A. Thanks for the guess, though, Yvonne. That's that was a great guess. At least uh, you know. At least you didn't Google. I mean, you guys are well. Uh, you know, you are people of your uh, of honor because you didn't actually stop and and Google to try to get the answer right. So that's great. I love it when people. Uh, our stand up, and uh, you know, if they don't know it, they say, Oh, it's Pookie and Lavana. <laughs> uh, and we have, uh, let's see, uh, qu we have a comment from So Sweet Baby, who we've heard from before. Hello, So Sweet Baby, thanks for commenting. Uh, oh, that was from three weeks ago, actually, that's the wrong comment. It must be someone else's, uh, someone commented under her comment. Uh, on the how to make five star Mediterranean salad, and it's Marie Hutchinson says caramel apple dreamlight. I'm not sure what that refers to, but that is uh, her comment. That is the last comment. Thank you all for playing the trivia game. And uh, we have our answers, so now we are going to read today's trivia question. So let's see if anyone gets it. Today's trivia question is, let me grab the card here. In the film, The Nightmare Before Christmas, what does Jack Skellington mistakenly call Santa Claus? Okay. One more time. In the film, The Nightmare Before Christmas, what does Jack Skellington mistakenly call Santa Claus? All right, so if you know that, 
throw it in the comments. Please don't Google. Uh, I don't have to say that again, but I'll say it every time. Please don't Google. If you know it, say it. And if not, well, then you're going to learn what the answer is. And then you'll know it from now on. Someone should ask you that question down the line. You'll know what to say. <laughs> Uh, just like the, uh, the Six Sisters of Ariel. You will know that from now on. At least two of them. And, uh, that will forever be etched in your, uh, knowledge library. <laughs> Should you, uh, have Disney trivia somewhere. So, good luck with today's question. I guess it's time to go. That's all for comments. So let's go in and see uh, what Scrooge is up to. All right. We have for the $40,000 showcase. Hello. We've got Blue Mice own Pearl Strung Gown from Cinderella. Bye bye. Okay. Eight thousand for oh, greetings, sturdy Nima. white overalls from Cinderella as well. There's quite a few questions about Goodbye, Cinderella and in, in uh, the trivia game. Three sixty for oh, simple silver bracelets. Bye bye. Uh, we have seven fifty. Oh. Greetings, neighbor. For these green woven sandals. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye now. Toodaloo. 2800 Greetings, for these neighbor. orange gradient shades. I don't know if we've seen those before from Moana. Thank you kindly. Pink Ida bag or Ida bag. 11,000. Oh, greetings, neighbor. From Rocket Ralph. Bye bye. Uh, three sixty for Yellow House of Dreams shirt. Seen this before. Ugh. Thank you kindly. Twenty five thousand for the turquoise candy laden skirt from Wreck It Ralph. Oh, yeah. Thank you kindly. <laughs> 2600 oh, for the frilly neighbor. pink pants from Toy Story. Have we seen that before? I don't know, but Toy Story could be coming in. I don't know if we've seen that, <laughs> that before. Have we seen <laughs> frilly pants? 4000 oh, for this neighbor. black herring house board and bottom wall. Or no, board and batten wall. I said bottom. Bye bye now. Board and batten. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh. 480 oh, for idea. the uh, blue double door top corner cupboard. All right, if you need that for your oh. kitchen. That Thank would be you kindly. Perfect. Gaston's antler chair. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Beauty and the Beast for 12k. Oh. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. 6400 oh, for this coral hanger neighbor. from the Little Mermaid. Uh, mm. Bye-bye. 4080 for oh, the blue neighbor. pearly table lamp. <laughs> oh, 2040 for oh, this yeah, yeah. night light, or as someone called it, the candy corn light. Looks just like candy corn. From Wreck It Ralph. Aww, yeah. A thousand for oh, the rounded frame. Neighbor. Mickey and Friends? And you get a free picture of Minnie Mouse. <laughs> 414 for the classic neighbor. toaster. Oh, screw Josh, I could Goodbye mute you. Hearing you say, greeting, hello, every time that I do this is... 1725 oh, for idea. the glass single bed. Oh, yeah. 
Bye bye. Do they really have to rub it in that you're single? Ah, the sun shining. The glass single bed. Um, that's a little small little joke there. Fifty-four forty for the neighbor. chandelier frozen. Oh. Thank you kindly. We have for thirty-two hundred. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Glass shells from Wreck It Ralph. Goodbye now. Doodaloo. Twenty-three thousand for oh, the glass slipper bed neighbor. from Cinderella. And that is going to do it for Scrooge's Thank daily you, inventory. Oh, Scrooge just... Sometimes his voice just rattles around in my head. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you all have a wonderful, magical Saturday. Take some of that magic, spread it around to your family and your friends and your pets. Of course, do that. Hello, Mickey. And Mickey's going to come and... Sit on the seat there and then get up. Oh, that was a quick seat. So go on out today and make sure everyone knows how positive and unique you are. Everywhere you go, spread it. You know, that's the only way that things get better in this world is to go out and spread some positivity and some empathy and... Uh, helping y your fellow neighbor and helping uh, um, people and animals in need. That is the way that things progress instead of uh, you know, everything else that's going on in the world right now. And we don't ever talk about that on this channel because uh, we come here to get away from things. But it doesn't mean you can't go out and make sure that everyone knows what a wonderful unique person you are and you know you are i know you are and so we celebrate that here we celebrate you uh, we celebrate uniqueness and we celebrate positivity and waking up each morning going out and doing things that are good and trying to uh uh make the change for the better so and to put a smile on your face hopefully you come in here and you have a smile when you leave uh we do try i do try to uh you know start you off on the right foot each and every morning and now we've got trivia and hopefully uh it'll give you something to think about and ponder throughout the day and so today's question we read it already i'll do it one more time uh in the film the nightmare before christmas what does jack skellington mistakenly call santa claus okay so, that is the question. We'll have a new question tomorrow. And the answer to this question. I hope that you uh, have a great Saturday. I've got more videos coming up today with uh, Star Wars Saturday. And I have a World of Warcraft coming up later on. Uh, we're going to do a, a tutorial. or Well, not really a tutorial. But we're going to go grab an easy mount and show people how to do it. And uh, maybe some other. Maybe some... Uh, Baldur's Gate 3. So I know it's a lot for notifications. I appreciate and thank you for putting up with uh, the notifications to the videos that you don't watch uh, because they're not Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> Unless you do watch them, then uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy them. But otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's Dreamlight Valley tomorrow morning with a new question and, of course, the answer for today. And I hope you have a wonderful first half of your weekend. I will see you tomorrow.